In today's video, we are controlling uh, this solenoid door lock uh, with a Uno R4 Wi-Fi through Arduino Cloud. So we are we're gonna be using the uh, Arduino Cloud uh, with Uno R4 Wi-Fi. To control this solenoid door lock. So let me get started. Uh, now I need three wires because uh, we are using this module, this uh, relay module, five volts. Okay. Uh, I need to connect. If that's gonna be that's gonna be the uh, this is okay that the VCC. and the second pin is the uh, the uh, ground okay blue blue wire ground and in is our signal so. The signal will be coming in, okay, coming in so that we can control the, uh, the solenoid door lock, okay, through this um, module, okay. Now, the signal, I mean, that's the uh, width. We connect to five volts, okay. And uh, the middle pin, I mean, uh, yeah, uh, the blue pin ground was grounded, and uh, the third pin is our signal. So, our signal I'll be connecting to pin 13. Yeah, now I need okay one wire. Why? Because uh, I forgot one thing. Okay, you are okay. Okay, I've forgotten uh, this guy. Okay, so. Um, we need. I'm going to explain that. Okay. So we need this wire. Okay. This wire goes to normally open uh, output. Uh, I don't know output if you want. Uh, so now I'm going to close it. Okay, like that. Yeah. Okay. So normally open. Okay. Uh, so it uh it's uh up up to you. So you can connect the wire to to common or to normally open. I think that's not. So I'm going to connect to put that on this side of the breadboard, okay? And now the positive side of the uh, solenoid with the lock goes to normally, normally. Closed, okay, like so. Okay, guys. Now, okay. Now I need to connect. Okay, that's a twelve volt so solenoid door lock. Okay, so we we need a twelve volt external power supply. 
Okay, that's the uh, truth. Okay, here with the the true hope. Okay, that's the uh, minds and uh, that's the uh, plus. Okay, now I'm going to connect the plus here and the the plus the negative side of the uh, solenoid. I connect it to or with the ground okay, of the uh, 12 volt okay, like that okay so that's a normally open and that's the comma okay come on so when the signal when I'm going so yeah because I'm going to uh, I'm going to control, okay, the so, uh, solenoid door lock for my phone, okay. When I'm going to switch on, the data is going to come, in, to come, okay, it's going to come, okay, uh, one, okay, bit set to a high, and it will trigger the module, okay. And uh, the normally open will now become normally uh, will, will close, okay? Will close, okay? And when it's close, so uh, it will it, it it will be in contact with uh, with the common, okay? And uh, the solenoid will go like that, okay? Like that. Okay, guys. Uh, I think we're done here. Now I need to upload to show you, okay, how to create a thing on the uh, Arduino IoT Cloud. Now my cable. Where is my cable? My cable. What is my phone? Okay. I need a C, a Type C cable. Okay. To do that. Okay, guys. Now I can make so because we're gonna set up okay our project okay okay like that it's um, yeah it's work yeah like that okay uh we we just fine okay now we need to go to uh to Arduino IoT Cloud to set up our project. Okay, guys. Okay, now we type Arduino IoT Cloud. Please create uh, an account. Okay, guys. Uh, I already have one. So we click on Arduino IoT Cloud. Then we go to things and uh, we create a thing. So create thing. We, we click we click on that. Okay. Now the first thing to do is to untitle it. Is to re rename that thing. Okay. So for me is uh, IoT solenoid dot Okay, guys, now I click on rename. Okay, now um, I choose to as to add uh, a variable first. Okay, uh, so 
door state okay is the name of my variable is the variable that is going to control the uh, the solenoid door lock so door state and the select variable type for me it is boolean and we click on add variable after that i go to associated device so i set up a new device arduino because um it uh, we are dealing with the uh, uno r4 wi-fi so connect and you can rename your device for me it's uno r4 wi-fi the same name okay now you uh, you cut the uh, the secret key, okay, and uh, you you uh, you click on that. So now uh, you unplug your board and then plug in in again, okay, just to avoid the problems. So then you click on confirm. Okay, click on that and then done now uh, now the, the network here you are going to provide your wi-fi name and your your, your wi-fi password so that's not my wi-fi password so i need to go back to a, a node project so that i can copy the exact uh, password okay i think uh, i just need to Click on Windows V, okay? W Windows V, okay? Together, and I search for my password, okay? That's it, okay? Password of my Wi-Fi. Now I put here in that thing the uh, the secret key, and then click save and update password. So I'm going to update my my, my password. Okay, now I go to uh, dashboards uh, so I can set up my dashboard okay guys so I click on create dashboard and I'm going to rename my dashboard okay it's going to be so solenoid door lock then click on rename it now click on add so that uh, we can add the uh, a widget uh, okay in our case is the switch then link the variable the widget to your variable door state okay here click click on uh, link variable then click down now we can change the position of our widget on our phone okay here is for our mobile phone okay i'm going to i'm changing okay the position in the yeah you know uh, then i go to things i click uh, i click on things click on that okay click and then I go to sketch because we need to change our sketch to perform these uh, uh, operations. So I define a new variable door, okay, connected to pin 13. Now uh, the variable door is an output, okay, because it's going to to send the signal it's going uh, it's going you, you know out yeah output now that's the door state okay it's already there now um, here we add our code here to act upon door state change so if the door state equals one guess what uh, what what we need to do we need to set the pin 13 high okay high 
Here you can type one or high, the word high. It's the same. Now, else, okay, if the do state equals zero, okay, is else. Uh, so I need to the do state, the pin 13 to, um, yeah, we set, I set the uh, pin 13 to zero. Now I click on that's our uh, device detected in, in our port con three. Now I click to upload. Uh, they say that I need to to update. So I, I don't know why they are asking that, but uh, we we just follow the rules. So continue improve your device connectivity. So we wait, we wait, we wait, we wait, we wait, we wait, and then click on continue. No, confirm. <laughs> One more thing. Just confirm, please. And done. Okay, now we are uploading the sketch. Start, start verify. Okay. Okay, this is where I speed the video. Okay. We wait, we wait. Okay, now, if yeah. we, we click on you see? IoT Remote App from Arduino IoT Cloud, okay, we can see here our project solo node download. Now, it's off, okay. The switch, if I, I go, if I click, okay, it will go on. Oh. So, the door is open. If I do that, okay, the door is closed. Open. No, I mean, that's open and that's closed, okay? Yeah. Closed. Open. Okay? see the uh, that uh, that's not fake <laughs> because you can see here the uh, that uh, built-in LED is following okay yeah because I mean, thank you so much and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel bye, -bye.